There are some accessories that we, we have found to be useful. One of them is what we call this floor rack. And what that does is when you're... Um, Here, maybe set it up on the table. You can, yeah, I'll pass. So if you're pulling frames of honey, and you have also the work table. Bring that? I don't think you brought I didn't that. bring it. There's a flat, you saw the angled one, the sliding board, and then I have a flat one. And that provides we'll you a place to. Hmm? We'll be downstairs. Yeah, you can see it downstairs. It gives you a place to set your hive tool or whatever, and it also, you pull a frame out, and you give it a good shake, and then you put it in the rack. Now you've still got a few bees on here. You know, there's still a few. You get a couple, three frames out, and now you start putting empty frames back in. You get all your frames in the rack. Then you have a, we have a plastic tub. We'll take that same frame and brush the last few bees off, put it in the tub, throw a lid on. Put the frame, you know, we've already got it filled up. Once we get all that done, close the hive, go to do the rest of the hives. Once you get all your frames in the plastic tubs, go have lunch. Come back an hour later, bees have all vacated, yeah. you can go to work. What we, what we had done before we used to, uh, before we <clears throat> ended up uh, figuring out the better way to do it, which is letting the, the frame sit in a tub for, you know, three or four hours before we go back out there, is we would just pull the, pull the honey frames right out of the hive and try to uncap there. And I tell you, he's, I've never seen him get stung more, except for maybe his first couple of swarms. <laughs> he's, he, yeah, he got lit up pretty bad. Um, so that, that's a very necessary part of it is letting the bees leave. We we're going to build a wall down the middle and some of the bee houses in Slovenia will have a separation between where the bees are and where the honey extracting happens. But I didn't want to do that. Uh, if I had it to do again, I might make my, my bee house a little deeper. It's 10 by 24. But w what we did was we, uh, we cut down, the, see the shelf, well, you can see the shelf over the sink, that's about a foot deep, so we took that away cut the countertops down, moved everything back, gained a foot in the room, didn't have to worry about putting the wall down the middle, so I like that big open space. We'll very often get club members will come over with their supers from their lang hives. They'll bring over, you know, a couple dozen supers and stack them up in the house and four or five of us will go in there and it's like a party. You know, we're uncapping and frame people that haven't done it. They're doing, you know, Kylie showing them how to do this and that and the other thing and it turns into a big social event. And then with a big extractor that I have, again, I have kind of the Mac Daddy setup, so a lot of people like to bring their stuff to me and, you know, over there, and I just sit and watch them work. And then I keep what comes through the sink. <laughs> I'm happy. I keep what dribbles out of the sink and what little bit's left in the extractor before they go home, and that's kind of my feed. So we keep that, we keep a little bit of honey when people bring stuff over. Like you said, it's always a learning experience. We always have two or three new people who've never done it.